Have you ever wanted to play Pokemon in Minecraft? Mine blocks, choose your starter Pokemon, battle trainers, catch legendaries, and so much more? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll show you how to install the Pixelmon Minecraft mod so you can start your own Pokemon journey in Minecraft. All right, guys, so before we jump in on how to actually download and install Pixelmon, I just want to go over some requirements really quickly. So you have to obviously own Minecraft Java Edition and have purchased that, which I have right here, and I've already loaded up Minecraft launcher and you also want to make sure you at least have like two preferably four gigabytes of free ram space in order to play pixelmon one other thing you want to do before we actually get into the process of installing it is just make sure that you've at least opened the minecraft launcher and played the most recent release of minecraft at least once before sometimes the installation of pixelmon won't always work if you haven't at least just played the regular version of minecraft once before and then the last requirement that we're actually going to need before we can actually start installing everything that we're going to need you also have to just make sure that you have Java installed on your computer. So all you have to do to install Java is just go to java.com, download Java, hit the download Java button. And I do already have Java installed, but I think mine actually needs to be updated, so I might as well go through this process. So the download completed, and then we can just go ahead and hit install. And then you should get a pop-up like this saying that you have successfully installed Java. And now we can move on to actually installing the Forge client that we're going to need to run Pixelmon and then actually downloading the Pixelmon mod as well. So it's going to be a two-step process. So we're going to want to come to reforge.gg and I'm just going to be showing you guys how to download the 1.16 version of Pixelmon because the 1.20 is still in alpha and there's still a lot of bugs in there and this is, like it says, the most stable way to play the game. So first, like I mentioned, we're going to download Forge so we can actually run the game because Forge is the client that will actually run the Pixelmon mod. And you just want to click on this blue hyperlink right here, 1.16.5-9.1.9, and then Forge 36.2.34. So if we click on that, it'll get taken to this page. Don't press anything when you get to this page. Up in the top here, you'll just have to wait for five seconds. Don't touch anything. Wait for those five seconds. And then the skip button will appear, and then you can click skip. Don't click anything else. And then you'll see in your downloads up above that we have just downloaded the that Forge installer. So we'll go ahead and click here to open up that downloads folder. So now that we've downloaded the Forge installer, one quick thing, just make sure that you completely close out of Minecraft while the Forge is installing. You do not want to have Minecraft launcher open at all or anything related to Minecraft. So we're just going to close out of that. I'll drag this to our desktop here. Close out of that and then just double left click on our Forge installer. And if you guys ever have any issues trying to run the installer, chances are that it's because you did not or you do not have Java. So you have to make sure that you have Java in order to run this. And if it's not giving you the option to open it with Java, you'll just have to right click and come to open with. And you just want to choose the Java platform SE binary to open. Then we'll get this window pop up and all you want to do is have install client and we'll click OK. It shouldn't take too long for that to install and it'll say successfully installed client profile forge. Click OK. We actually just don't even need this Forge download anymore. You can actually just right click and delete this if you want. And then our next step is going to be coming back again to reforge.gg. And so we have the Forge client we need to run the game. And now we just need the actual Pixelmon mod itself, which we're going to click here on this download 1.16.5 stable. And this will download the most recent stable version of Pixelmon at 1.16. So we're going to click on that. It'll take us to the same page where again, we're just wait for five seconds. Don't touch anything. Then we can hit skip, and after that, it'll start our download. And once your download's complete, we'll go ahead and open that folder location again. And we're going to actually move this, just like we did with the Forge client, to our desktop. And now we're actually going to want to reopen our Minecraft launcher. Now, I do already have the Pixelmon Forge installation added to my Minecraft launcher here, as you can see. But if you're doing this for the first time, what you want to do is just come to this installations page. We're going to hit new installation. And you can name this anything you want. You know, mine was Pixelmon. You can name it whatever you like. I'll just name mine Pixelmon test for this video. And then you want to make sure you switch the version into that version of Forge that we just downloaded. So that was release.1.16.5. All right, here it is, our release.1.16.5-forge 36.2.34. That is the version we need. 
You don't have to do anything in the game directory. You don't have to do anything in the resolution here. But one thing you can do is click more options down here. In this GVM arguments area where it says 2G right here, that is just telling how much RAM to allocate from your computer while you are playing Pixelmon. And it is always usually a little bit better to increase this to four, so you're using four gigabytes of RAM while you're playing. You can do it on two, but it's not gonna run as well. And if you have a nicer PC, you can even go up to six or eight, but I'm gonna leave it at four. And then we just hit create. And then we'll see down here, our Pixelmon test is now in our installations page. And now we'll hit this drop down here and we can switch to our Pixelmon test that we just installed and hit play. And it's always gonna give you this warning your first time saying that, oh, this is an actual Minecraft product, so there could be risks involved, blah, blah, blah. Just hit, I understand the risks and play. All right, so now we have our Minecraft loaded and we can see that this is actually the Forge version, Forge 36.2.34 that we installed. And it's showing that we can actually add mods to this. So this is perfect, but we have not actually installed and added our Pixelmon mod yet. So in order to do that, go ahead and click on the mods folder here. And then down here, click open mods folder. That's going to open our .minecraft mods folder, and this is where you add any mods that you want to play in order for them to actually be loaded into Minecraft. So what we're going to do first before we do that is come back to the Minecraft screen here, and we're just going to quit out. You cannot add any mods while you're still in the game, so you're going to want to quit out. And then our Pixelmon Java file here that we downloaded up above, we're just going to go ahead and drop and drag that down into our mods folder. And we can go ahead and close that out and then reload our Minecraft launcher. And then same thing as before, just make sure that you have your installation that we added for Pixelmon selected over here, and then we can hit play. And again, we'll just wait for it to load up. All right, and then once Minecraft gets loaded, you should now be on the homepage and you should be able to see the Pixelmon icon here. There's gonna be a Discord icon here. You'll know if you actually successfully installed it, if it actually says Pixelmon here, and then you can go ahead and join a multiplayer server. If that's what you're trying to do, you can create your own single player world and actually start playing Pixelmon. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you guys learned something here. Hopefully you had some success installing this and now you can play Pixelmon. If you have any issues, leave me a comment down below and I'll do what I can to help you guys out. But I appreciate you guys watching. Leave me a like, hit that subscribe button, check out some other videos if you're feeling it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, peace out.